workshop, it's Thursday. We're in the workshop. Um, we're having a Stuart trailer today. We're really getting traders ready for um, harvest. Um, it comes around quicker every year, I'm sure it does. Maybe it's just because I'm getting older. Um, anyway, we've, uh, we're very lucky with our Stuart traders. We've had a good amount of hires throughout the winter months. Um, we just kept the traders busy, um, which is nice. It helps me. It, it helps me out a great deal to get them to keep them out and hire. Um, but now we're going through every so every single trailer that's, that's come back to the yard is going is going through the workshops um, where we're doing we're checking the brakes, um, airlines, hydraulic hoses, wheels, tyres, um, lights. Paul, as you can see behind me, is down there. Just. Uh, Straightening out a light bracket on there to come back. Um, it, it's yeah, it's uh, good. The good, good thing is with these Stuart traders is that they are so well made and so robust that we don't get a huge amount of problems with them at all. Um, just some niggly things. When we when we do these traders, we're quite passionate in the fact that we go round and we oil and grease and everything else. But am I one of the only people left these days who still likes to use a proper oil can when doing their job? All these people that use these spray, spray oil, I just think it's getting thinner and thinner and I don't think these cans last as long as they used to. Um, we used to buy it, we used to buy it by the case and we'd go around the workshops and we'd find half empty cans or all over the place. It was just a, a, an extreme expensive hobby. But now we have oil cans and I reckon it's a far better job. I think we use um, 15, 40 inch oil. Um, and we think it's a far, far better job. So what are your thoughts? In the boxes below, we need to do spray oil or oil cans. And uh, I hope we come back to the oil cans or I might look a little bit silly with all the rest of my staff here. So please, be kind. So Paul just put that light. See, Paul is, is a very talented chap. He turns his hand to everything. He just put that light back on. Um, he also does a lot of the trailer washing at the moment, which is really good. And uh, he does do a very thorough job with that. So this is a... 14 ton, a year 2022 trader. Um, we've been through it, checked it all over. Um, so that one's good. Let's go back outside to go back on the wash in a minute for a quick bits down. And that's ready. Um, Tim is under there somewhere, under 1621L. Um, this trader is um, same thing, been, got, been done right through this trader. Um, this trader is also 19. Uh, 2022, 1922, 2022 trailer. Um, this one we've just changed the wheels back over, back on super single. This trailer here we've just put flotations back on it because it's been doing um, work in the local docks, moving stuff on the boats. So it's been on super single, so it's one of a pair. They've come back and we've, we've actually put new trailers on that job. And um, so these have come back. Um, Talk all the wheel nuts up, as you can see. We then put a pen mark on the wheel nut. After we, talk, after we talk them all up, today's colour happens to be red. Um, we put new stickers on them, stating all the work we've done for the trailer, um, the dates, lights, hydraulic adjusters. It just is good for the customer to be able to see the, the service history, the, the last service history of this trailer. New Stuart trailers are arriving as well, which is good. The fleet is growing this year. Um, we also have some other brands as well, with some other colours. Uh, Thank you, Grease. Paul likes his air greaser. Very simple. So what are people's favourite colour of trailer? Favourite maker trailer? Has anybody, has anybody been to the Stuart Patrick and had a look around? Up in Scotland, see how they make them. Um, if you have, please put the comments below. Let know what it was like and what, what you thought of it all. Plates off. Visually inspect the condition of the brakes. Right, so what I've done, took the back plate off. Power tools, we're having a good time. Anyway, right. Took the back plate off. What we're looking for is the condition of the brake shoes. Making sure there's plenty of friction material left on them, which that one there is. Lots of material left on that. That one's good. And then checking all oh, the springs are intact and the cams are in good in good order. Nothing obviously wrong. I usually run my hand in the bottom there and just make sure there's no 
nothing broken off on the bottom there. But yeah, that was past inspection. We'll put the back plate back on and move on to the next axle. So that's a one out of four. As another safety precaution, before everything goes out and let me know it's safe. And also, the sticker will go on it to say who's checked it, when we've checked it, and also it'll give you the torque settings and the tyre pressures. So if you have a puncture, you know what tyre pressure needs to be. You have to have a wheel off for any reason. You know what torque settings are. Didn't move. More trailers, we're still going. We're still going. See, even the detail we try to on these things, trailers, where like even the cut things, we actually go through, we oil them all up, make sure they're all easy to use. Paul, on the other hand, he's busy on a Saturday. He's been spraying this morning. Charlie, maybe he's been, he's been strimming. Now he's washing the side of his trailer, which is going out on Monday, I believe. So, he's doing a proper good job there. He's sponging it all down as well. Brushes it all down as well. So, he has a proper good job there. Maybe we should start the GCS um, drive-through car wash or something. You never know. Maybe that would work. This is, right. We've actually started taking delivery now of new Stuart trailers for 2023. Um, we do like the Stuart brand, but we have also bought one or two other brands as well. You'll see them later on. But yes, we have some new Stuart trailers um, starting to appear. So um, we'll show you some more of them as they arrive. So there you go, brand new Stuart trailer arrived this week. Looking good. Adds to the uh, rest of the fleet, but uh, yeah, <coughs> very nice. And a few more to come next week, I believe. He missed it first time. <laughs> he missed it the second time. Yeah, he got it. We didn't have that one. Seems happy. Paul's focused. There we go, another new track, another new trailer. Another one coming home, more to follow. Well done, Paul. What a beautiful day. Beautiful day, yeah. It's nice to be seen coming home. A lot of hard work and preparation goes into buying these. And uh, they are a quality product, without any question of doubt, they are a quality product. Thanks for watching Tim's video. This, this video is all Tim. Oh, it's, it's, it's a Tim video today, so thank you for watching. Video. Thanks for watching the video. As you'll see, Tim does get his hands dirty. Show your hands, Tim. Look, he does get his hands dirty. Oh, yeah. Part of our philosophy here at GCS is if a job needs doing, we'll get on and do it if need yeah, be. Yeah, you right. know? We're very lucky we've got talented people here yeah. who can turn the hand who can turn oh. the hand to a lot of things and get things done. So I mean again, if you've got a machine you're on hire or you expect to do delivery, the chances are it could easily be one of us. You know, we're not we're not we're not we're not too proud. Yeah, we're not too proud. Right, anyway, thanks for watching. I'm feeling um, about 95 percent this week. Looking feeling good, things are moving on well here. Tim, how are you feeling? 98 and dirty. You always be awkward and round it to a different number, don't you? Always has to be no, awkward. How's that? Anyway, how are you feeling? Um, put it in the box below. Where in the world are you watching from? Please, that's good. We'd like to know. It may, it's very interesting to read where you're all coming from. So, thanks for watching. Please click subscribe, ring the little bell. You know how it all works. You hear it from everybody. 
Um, thank you very much, and we'll see you again really soon. Cheers. Thank you.